Hello everyone. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. I don't want to just talk about this flight. I want to make some points. They say that secret societies rule the world. They should run all these big companies. They display here the ownership, who owns the company. It's displayed in these signs there. So I don't think Qantas is really laughing at flat earthers. Because we know something. They are laughing at the two, three billion people that they are deceiving. This is from a movie. You can find it online, Concord Faster Than the Sun. Now there is a reason why they named this movie about the Concord Faster Than the Sun. It's because the, it's the sun that it's moving, it's not the earth. You can only compare things like that when both are doing the same, doing the same action. Before the Concorde, there was another pilot who was nicknamed Faster Than The Sun because he flew from east to west faster than the sun. So the Concorde, people would leave London at, when the day was dawning, sunrise, got on the Concorde, fly across the Atlantic, arrive in New York City, and then see the sunrise again, because the Concorde had left the sun behind. So it's not Earth that's moving, the sun is the one that it's moving, just like this animation here shows. This is an animation made by Rob Skiba. The sun travels across the flat Earth. Concord flew faster than the sun. The sun is fast, but the Concord is faster. Same thing happened with QF 14. So it really saddens me that we can't get people who are really in power on the side of the truth. Seems like all those people who are in power, they are always siding with the liars and the lies. It's really easy to fake things. I just made a video about how easy things is. And I'm gonna show you here how easy it is to... I don't have any budget, like my softwares are 15 years old. But I can convert a Mercator projection into a flat earth map and shows how things make more sense on the flat earth map. And I'm gonna show you here how I just did it, this flat earth map out of this projection. I don't have here too much information about the equator. So I had to paste Flight Radar 24 projection onto a Mercator projection. I have this one, which uh, shows the eclipses, which I will transform into a flat earth map for a future presentation. So I pasted Flight Radar projection onto the Mercator. I worked with the uh, opacity and I made sure everything was more or less where it was supposed to be. Then I ran it through Photoshop. It gave me an azimuth projection. I needed this information here just so I could have something to fill this gap. It wouldn't do it a good job without this part of here. Although Australia is way too close to the equator, this is just to give us an idea of this flight converted onto the flat earth map. And this is how it looks. 
This flight came this way, got on the fly on the jet stream, sky rocketed, and then got off the jet stream and flew towards Darwin. On the flat earth map you can understand how this flight happened. Not a secret. So how this is how this flight flew and arrived in the prison island named Australia. Flying over cell block C and B and arrived in Darwin. Of course now you can't find much information about this flight anymore. Unless you pay a sub subscription, you can see some archived pages. But you can't find after I uploaded my video last week, you won't find it, this information on this flight available anymore. But if you have a paid subscription, you can access the archived pages. So why are these people pushing, have been pushing so much this model? Well, because it's a prison. It's a prison. And now these people who are claiming science, they are the ones causing the mess we are living today. Look at this lady. She is destroying Chicago. How those people who claim science it's all about science. They are the ones destroying this world. Look at this guy. Ask him what shape of the earth the, the earth is. He will laugh at you. He will laugh at flat earth is of course. While he destroys humanity. While he destroys the fabric of our DNA. Look at this paid actor. Same thing. He's paid millions of dollars to spread lies. People love lies. He rewards, rewards them well. And the truth today, nowadays, is expensive. You pay with your life. Ask this man about the shape of the earth. Science. The earth is a ball. That's what he's going to say with his hidden hand. So just ask these people. They are not flat earthers. They know the earth is flat, but we tell you it's not because they are liars. How about these two leaders? I'm so sorry about the people of Australia. You have Scott Morrison and you have this guy Dan Andrews both from secret societies destroying Australia. Ask them what shape Earth is. They will say it's a ball. Here you have on this, on the left, the vice president of Brazil, 30, 30 degree from a secret society, completely destroying the country. Ask him what shape of the Earth is. He will laugh. He will say it's a ball. You laugh at flat earth. It's very common. This is the uh, Brazilian astronaut. He spent some time in the ISS. I don't have the video now. I watched it. I wish I had saved. A reporter asked him live on TV what shape the earth is. He laughed. Said it's a ball. Look on the or the picture, what club he is in. Now it's funny, like when people ask these guys live on TV and they laugh. It's a laugh that is not a voluntary laugh, it's like a forced laugh. Look at this guy, he was asked on a program, he's a pilot, and the guy asked him about the shape of the earth. It's in Portuguese, but you can see. Terra é plana. Hum. <risos> Peraí, muito, a gente já volta a falar. <risos> See, he's a pilot. He was asked, is the earth flat? And he, ha, 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 ha. 
Same thing happened with the astronaut Terry Wirtz. He was asked Piers Morgan, and he, they all laughed like forced flea. Just watch this. The Earth is flat. <laughs> so it's a force to laugh. Ask all these people. Ask this guy, Dan Andrews. Just saw some pictures online on Telegram of him kissing a boy. Like mouth kissing a boy. Boy is probably 10 years old, 9 years old. So all these people who laugh defend the science. They will say Earth is a ball. So this is final chapter. I'm not going to be talking about this flight anymore. It's completely nonsense to believe that these people who are holding this world hostage is telling you the truth. They lie, they will lie to you. They're laughing, but I don't think they're laughing at flat earthers because we know what's going on. They are, they are laughing at the ones that they already have under their spell. Two billion, three billion, four billion people. I don't know. They have them under their spell. So guys, that's all for today. Hope you all have a good week. I'll see you next time. I'm going to talk about other topics. Take care. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm.